take that out. It's not focusing too good, but I polished it real good. I haven't polished the rest of the chisel yet, but I've knocked everything off of it. There's the stamp. There's the other one. It's probably not going to make it out, but uh, I can't afford to go out and buy those $50, $100, dollars chisels for woodworking. So I get on uh, eBay. You can see this one's kind of hand forged there. And I'll find these that need fixed up. As long as the edge is not too bad, you can uh, re-sand it, repolish it. You just got to take your time. What I do is, is I start with the uh, wet stones and then I go uh, uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, all the way up to 7,000 grit. And then I hit it with leather after I uh, shape everything and get it the way I want with the wet rock. And it's the razor sharp. And then uh, here, come down here to the workbench and I'll show you my tip. So you pick these things up for a good deal. You polish them like I just told you. 1,000. 3,000, 5,000, 7,000 grit. And then I hit them after that. Put the compound on, hit it with this, a leather strop. And you can tell that one's razor sharp. Okay, guys? And then the, one of the best wood handles that I found here, I've made some uh, carvings out of some of it. Here's one that I'm working on. It's not finished. Uh, different stuff like that is mountain laurel. Which, if you're in the southeast, you should have tons of it. Or can find it, and it's usually a nuisance. People get rid of it and stuff. Uh, it's a really good plant. I uh, hadn't made many spoons out of it. Which they say you can, even though the leaves are poisonous. The wood's fine. So what I do is I go out there. I get these. Shine them up. Redo them. And I'll get mountain laurel. And I'll cut the handles. And make uh, handles out of them. So that's what we're going to do here. Got my piece of my wire there. Uh -oh. Dropped one of my things there. So I think with this one right here, that piece right there is going to be really nice right there. So we're going to come in here, and I like to leave a little uh, crown on it here if you can. Always watch your fingers, guys. Here, uh, I'll get you. Watch your hands when you do this, guys. But uh, you can always make it tighter and make it go in good. But you can't. Uh, you cannot uh, add that to it. You just want to start again. So. Let me see if we can find another one here. There we go. That should be about perfect. All right, guys, see there's that. Now let's get it tapped in here all the way. Uh, let's have a rubber mallet right here. Work this right a little bit there. All right, guys, I wanted it like this. What the hell? Like that. There, that's gonna be perfect. And what I did is I left some of this on there that I'm gonna be sanding off anyway. And just like sit my axe, guys. See, it's a little off there, but I'm gonna sand that down and get it in there good. I'm gonna have to take a little bit off right here. Okay, guys. Just pull this off. I know this is nothing fancy. Uh, I'm working on getting equipment, uh, new stands, new cameras, and all that. Uh, it's just expensive, and I got to figure out. I don't want to buy something twice, so I'm learning and figuring out how to all to do this stuff. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, hunting season will be back open soon. I've got a good turkey video getting ready to come up. 
but anyway, here's the finished product, guys. Still got to polish the rest of this some. I just needed to get it where I could use it. But there's the handle made out of rhododendron. Still going to probably end up sanding the end of this a little bit. On the next one, I'm going to... I'm going to do it before I put it on, but uh, there's the handle, guys. And what I use for the clear coat on that is three coats, scotch brad in between of this. So, there you go, guys.